Hello out there in Radio Land. This is meteorologist Joel Curtis with your statewide weather. Starting out with a fairly benign fall pattern, we've got a 993 millibar low uh, down by Dutch Harbor, and it's all wound up. It has a full occluded front around it. Uh, we also have a cold front uh, from uh, the eastern end of our uh, Beaufort Sea coast in Alaska uh, down through about the uh, Seward Peninsula or so. Uh, slow moving front, but still a little precipitation with it. And then we also have a cold front that is now moving through the southern part of the Panhandle and a little bit of high pressure to the south of that. And uh, uh, otherwise, uh, uh, not a whole lot going on with the, with the weather. But then uh, for tonight, that 991 uh, um, millibar low down by Dutch Harbor has moved a little bit east, and it's deepened a little bit. Uh, there's a trough across the Gulf of Alaska, and it's moving onto the coast, also spreading some precipitation into the North Gulf Coast as well as uh, the Panhandle. Uh, the cold front that was uh, uh, over the North Slope is now uh, down past the uh, Brooks Range, uh, connects to a 1,007 millibar low near the Gulf of uh, Anadir. Uh, one thing to note is that there's a little bit of frozen precipitation both on the Brooks Range and then on the Alaska Range, a higher elevations around uh, South Central, also the Wrangell St. Elias, and a little bit up on the North Slope in the uh, vicinity of Dead Horse as well, uh, a little bit of frozen precipitation. So uh, this is definitely a fall pattern, and uh, otherwise, uh, for the rest of it, it is rain, uh, some wind in the Aleutians, and uh, uh, down by uh, Sand Point. So uh, for Friday, what we've got is a little bit of a ridge of high pressure with some uh, uh, clearing along the Brooks Range and uh, just south of that. Uh, still a little frozen precipitation over the higher elevations of South Central as well as the Wrangell St. Elias Mountains. And then we have a, the uh, low has uh, uh, weakened to 998 millibars south of Kodiak Island. There might be a little bit of oceanic lightning with that system due to uh, cold air aloft. Uh, high pressure uh, near the Bering Strait and also south of the Panhandle. This is meteorologist Joel Curtis with your statewide weather.